28 states. Has there been a singular moment to you that said, you know what, this is all worth it? Uh, I mean, when you see the smiles on kids' faces, I mean, we have some of the kids out here today, they come out and help out with the game and just hear their stories and hear how appreciative that they are. And for us, it's really cool because we get to show all these fans what their money goes towards. And um, it's, it's really, really special and it makes all the hard work worth it when you get to see that these kids truly do benefit from it. All right, gaining a lot of publicity is a fact you have a special guest appearance by the Terminator himself, yeah. Arnold Schwarzenegger. How did you pull that off? Oh, it's great. Arnold's awesome. He's been a good friend of mine, and uh, I was out there uh, doing a charity event to his this year, and I was like, hey, man, I got my softball game this year. You want to stop by? He was all for it. He's a great sport. He has his own foundation that does after-school activities, so it kind of worked out perfectly, and so today should be pretty special with him. And then uh, we have Simone Manuel throwing out the first pitch, gold, gold medal Olympian. And then uh, just a couple minutes ago, Ric Flair called and said he wanted to stop out. So Ric Flair is going to come out to the game, too. So we've got ourselves quite the crew. It's going to be a lot of fun. A lot of color and personality. Now, let me ask you about this. You know one of the famous lines from Terminator. Will you indulge me? I'll be back. It's pretty good. That wasn't bad at all. Now, I do want to ask you, you know, in the past, you guys have split up the rosters, offense and defense. Right. Andre Johnson recently announced his retirement. Right. Noticed he's on your roster on defense. How'd you swing that? Well, he's retired, so he doesn't technically have a position. And obviously, I think he's a future Hall of Fame wide receiver. But uh, he's retired, and it's my baseball game, my softball game, so I make the rules. And I want Andre on my team. I never got to be on his side on when he played for us, so I finally get to have him on my team, and it's going to be fun. But I did see recently that you said you wanted to play fullback against your brother. Are you going to ask him for any tips? I never said that. That's what was interesting to me is that that story got out there, and I never said that. So, so he's clarifying uh, it right yeah, here on NFL it Network. It's pretty interesting to me to see all those stories come out. I think it was one of their coaches. I mean, I'm not saying I wouldn't like it, <laughs> but I definitely never came out and said that. So um, we've had plenty of those altercations in the backyard before, so it would be nothing new. <laughs> Appreciate your time. No all right, we'll reset and do some quick fo football questions. Nah, you're good. All right, JJ, when you were playing last year, the Texans started off 2-0, and and then the Texans went 7-7. Seven and seven. After two back injuries, it's my understanding the doc said, all right, you got to walk away and start rehabbing. Mm -hmm. How hard was that? Oh, it was tough to be away from your guys, to be away from the team, just to be away from the atmosphere. Um, but in the end, looking back, it probably obviously ended up being the best decision. I feel unbelievable now. My body feels great. Um, but, yeah, I just... Sometimes you do have to take that step back and let your body do what it needs to do to recover. And uh, I think it also gives you the brand new refresh perspective and coming back very excited, very energized and just can't wait to be with my teammates. Where are you at in terms of the rehab process? What are you capable of doing right now? Um, I'm everything. I'm all, I'm all clear for everything now. So I'm out there practicing with the guys, working out with the guys, um, doing everything. So can't wait for OTAs next week. Uh, just, just can't wait to hit people again. All right, Bill O'Brien, speaking of quarterbacks, know you like him on the opposing side of the ball. You're obviously able to see Tom Savage. He's put to bed. Tom Savage is going to be the starter next season. How has he looked, and how has his approach been this offseason? There's one thing I know. I'm very, very good at getting after the quarterback. I'm not very good at evaluating him. So I don't know anything about how those guys perform and things like that. All I know is that the team that we have and the chemistry that we have and the guys that we have, uh, no matter who's out there, whether it's Tom, Deshaun, whoever it may be, we've played through a lot of quarterbacks in the last six years since I've been here. Uh, so we kind of know how to handle that, and uh, especially with the team that we have right now. We have a great group of guys, and we're just looking forward to the season. Six years ago, you were a rookie with this organization, and the rookies are in town this weekend. Gaining some experience from that um, opportunity for yourself, what sort of message are you sending to these guys when you have a chance to sit down with them? Uh, the biggest thing you tell them is just to learn the playbook as much as you can and work as hard as you can. And, and you know, don't try and do too much. Don't try and get outside of your own zone. Uh, soak in as much knowledge as you can from the vets. Uh, enjoy it. I mean, you're in the NFL. Enjoy it. It's a very special experience, but also don't think you've made it. Make sure that you go out there every single day and work your butt off because this league is crazy. You know, they, they call it not for long for a reason. So go out there and do everything you can to stay on the field and then also have some fun. And we're going to have the rookies out here today, so we're going to have a little bit of fun with them today, too.